how to map products on desserts. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can map your products within a desserts. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the video and the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that we need to do is to go ahead into our Shopify store then we have to sign in into our account. Once we have did that it is very easy to install the app. So we are going to click on the search bar right there and we are going to type simply the search like that and it will show up. I will let you see here the app on the uh, Shopify app store. As you can see this is the official logo and the official rating of the app. It has a 5 star rating. So we are going to click on the app and here we have it. It is named the search AliExpress dropshipping. Install it and you can see it right there it will take you directly to the website of Deezers. And now we're going to uh, link the account of our Shopify store to Deezers. It is very simple. It will, uh, after you have installed the app, it will automatically detect the um, store that it has been installed from. And you are going to set that authentication is set. And also the connection is already set. So all you need to do is to get your product and then you are going to set something. Here we have the platform uploading. Now after you have set the uh, account on Deezers, right here we have the homepage or the admin dashboard. Now we need to get a product. So we are going to find the first step is to find the suppliers or you can import the uh, product from Aliexpress or Timu. Now, you can see right there the partner of uh, Deezers. Now we have a lot of partners and this is a not very, uh, very important for us, but we need some product research. Right there we are going to type the keyword of that product. Now, if you want here to see the TikTok ads, you are going to see um, the trending ads or the trending products. So go ahead and type the keyword right there. If you want to find the suppliers, click on the home button right here, which is, or not the home button, but the home icon and find suppliers. Right there we have AliExpress, as you can see, and you can either set a photo to search for that product. If you don't have a photo, you're going simply to set the keyword. And as you can see, we have the platform. We have AliExpress included and it is installed. Right there we are going to select a product and then we are going to add it. Then we are going to see the mapping of that product in case of the product is ruptured or out of stock. So we're going to select any of these product. Now I don't have the exact image of that product but it is uh, loading right there. We are going to open up the product on another window. I'm going back here to refresh that page and see the product that we are going to open since I can't go ahead and choose any blind uh, product. So right there we have the product and also the performance and the orders or the number of orders for it. As you can see this product is not very demanded. It has only 13 orders. But in the contrary, here we have this one, adjustable put right here, cat seat belt. It has a lot of orders on it. It has 700. And we can see all of these. As I can see, uh, or as far as I can see, this one is the most demanded. So we can go ahead and open it in a new tab or a new page and see it right there on the uh, as you can see here on the page of Aliexpress. Now I'm going to set the settings to change the language and also the currency. So wait a few seconds with me, bear with me with this. And here we have the product page. Now we are going to add this product to our store or to our orders. So all you have to do is to click on add to import list with this three dots here it has been imported now we are going to check it as you can see it is on the import list so now we are going to push it to our store click on it then you need to select the store which is our Shopify store right here we have some options 
You can add your continue setting when out of stock. Here it is set. We need that because we are going to map it to another um, uh, seller or another sourcing. And now we are going to click on push to stores. Right here we have it. And we have the progression bar going already. So we are going to see it right there. Pushing it is nearly finished. Now. We can import their views, but it will use another app called Looks. So we are going to avoid that because it is not our subject on today's video. Here we have the product set. So we are going right here to head to my products. Click on it and right there it will show you all the products that has been pushed to your store. So we have the product set. And we have a lot of products that I have set before. When you go to my products, we have this, uh, as you can say, um, a Lincoln or a spider Lincoln right here or a web right there. It has a sign or a tag of mapping. We're going to click on it. And right here, we can map this product to the marketplaces. Now you can see that we have the basic, the standard, the advanced, the BOGO and the bundle. You can activate all of these on the Shopify product. Right there on the basic one, we have the map supplier. You can choose either AliExpress or you can go with Timu. Right here, all you have to do is to import a supplier by pasting an AliExpress or Timu link right there. Right here you have the uh, product synchronization or synchronization rule. You can go ahead and set the country. Set here for a D search to obtain supplier data, uh, uh, product data sent to destination countries. Save it. And from there you're going to set the default supplier or add the product. Now we're going to change that or get that on right away. So I'm going to open AliExpress on a new tab, AliExpress. And then we need to find a similar product. So we are going to set that. Vehicle dog harness. We are going to set that product. Now we are going to change the language. English, put it on Euro. United States, we are going to save that. And now we are going to get that product. I'm going to copy and paste that. And we can see right there a lot of suppliers. So we have Bobbit Store, Mimo LF Store, Pet Mommy Store, and etc. We're going to wait for the images to be uploaded. I don't know why my internet is so slow in this tutorial but we are going to set it um, whatever what now so we are going to select any products for example this product i'm going to select it right there and now all you have to do is to get that link from here go ahead into this one this is the more important one and click on ok right there it will be demanded from that supplier to add your store to the list of the dropshippers. Now, everything is set and whenever you are going to activate right there the mapping. Here you can see that it is set to Bobbit store. Now, so we are going to change that store to maybe this one. I'm going to visit this one. So, we're still on the Bobbit. No, we are not on it. So, we are going to copy the item and paste it right there and see what will happen. Now it will be normally add that product or that uh, supplier to the list of the suppliers. Now it will be changed for the Shopify and also the product from the Bobbit store. Now whenever you finish that step you are going to select the colors. It will be set in the colors but you have to name them to the um, second store that we have set which is uh, the Bobbit or the mommy store it doesn't matter now you are going to select whatever you want from here coffee and everything 
and you can set the automated mapping or set manually what you have added and click on save right there the mapping is going to be saved within that product details so whenever you go to your store on Shopify you are going to click on products right there we are going to see that the product is added right there and we have 9847 on stock or on the inventory and whenever this quantity will go out it will go ahead and remap the uh, supplier to the second one that we have set now as you can see we have the product details and etc I'm going to take a tour to the store itself and see how it will look click on view and here we have it this is the images you can zoom in zoom out the images here we have the types these are some um, information that are not necessary so you need to modify these found them on the description right there for example for the type you can go ahead and put them like that delete them or delete those because they have no meanings like that so wait for a few seconds until the saving is set and I am going to refresh that page and you can see uh, here I'm going to refresh that page until the description is going back it doesn't matter right there so we're going to wait All right there we have the uh, as you can see the uh, substantial variation where there's sky blue here we have each item with the variation has its own image and you can set the order right there I have uh, to mention that you need to change the price for it for example for the images that contain the price you need to delete them because they will not let you uh, set right here the uh, the right price for you it will check up the price for you and you will can not set that because the customers will uh, complain that the price is set something on the image and the on the reality it is something else you are going to set the price right there set up everything right here and put it to 200 for example for all the models that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one